If you look closely, there's a little cheat sheet right here. And so the LEDs that we want, let's see if we can get a closer look, are specifically LEDs three and four, which correspond to the screw terminal block here to um, pins 11 and 12. And so by doing so, if you use the screw terminal block, you don't have to do as much soldering. Um, so the wiring here is very easy. The long lead of the LEDs, so there's two LEDs, which are right here. Just drop something. So here's two LEDs. The long leads of these LEDs, one long lead goes into pin 11. That's basically the green LED, which says the, the um, photo booth is in idle mode. And then the red LED, which says the photo booth is in use, goes to pin 13. So the long leads of those LEDs go there, and the short leads, you want to wire them together, and they go to ground. In the manual, there's a wiring schematic, so you can read that, and it will all be spelled out. But just quick and dirty, that's how you wire it. And then the Magic Mirror Kit has a little hole right here, so you can get a better look of it right there. There's a little hole right there, so you can just feed the wire outside of that hole. It's already pre-drilled and then just wire it to your LEDs. And then what we did here was this was just a Molex connector so you can unplug it so that way, you know, it's not always connected. But that just depends on your installation. If you want to have it all, all always connected, then you, would don't, you don't need this and you would just have it wire directly into your, your LED box, which may look something like this.